Hey, what's shaking? This is Sonny in the 419. I'm here in 960 Township Road 60 in Gibsonburg, Ohio, in preparation for the scrap. Right here, the scrap. I don't know if you've ever been to scrap, but you gotta go. It's a pretty groovy time. Some old tractors, a lot of fun for the family. And it's Labor Day weekend. I'm gonna go talk to Nancy and Roger, who are a part of the committee. And I don't know what scrap even means. You know, I know it's I know what it's about, but I don't know what the words scrap mean. But I'm gonna find out. So let's go talk to Roger and Nancy. Make sure you write it down on your calendar. Labor Day weekend, scrap. Bird, Ohio. For the preparation of the scrap with Nancy. How are you yeah. doing, Nancy? I'm good, thank you very much. So what's, what's your role here, Nancy? Um, I'm one of the directors. I um, I came in, this is going on my 12th year as Whoa. being one of the officers. Wow. And uh, my oldest brother sucked me in and I just can't <laughs> get out. But I know um, <laughs> was born and raised on a farm. Um, been coming for probably a good 25 years really? to it. Um, Never had you know any interest right. of becoming an officer then, but eventually got into it. Um, we we have a lot of antique machinery. Yeah, that's that, what I was going to ask you. A lot of people they hear the word scrap, and they initially they think it's something else. Like I used to. Right. What, what exactly does scrap mean? Like in scrap your stands for Sandusky County Restorers of Antique Power. Okay. Which is old tractors, old um, farm machinery that we use, plows, thrashers, corn huskers, um, even the hand grind shellers, okay. hand corn shellers. Right. We have those. Um, we used to, up until six years ago, we had um, horse bombing. Okay. Yeah. Um, but there's nobody around anymore it that has that. horses that can do demonstrations for plowing and stuff. We really wish we could get them back, yeah. but we don't. Um, but yeah, we uh, we are set up for a lot of fun for learning, exactly. um, especially for younger ones that yeah. don't know much about farm, the old farming ways uh -huh. and everything. Um, How long has scrap been going on? This this is our thirty fifth year. Thirty. 35 years. That's this impressive. Year. Yes, it is. It's very impressive. Yeah. Um, we came here, I think it was last year or the year before, and I loved I loved the like the little kids' tractor poles. Yes. We saw in the back and we saw the um, uh, the bands and the old yes. style bands yes. and we, the tents. Yes, we and the did. guys out there cooking in a uh, big old pot. Yep. Yeah. That was neat. We have um, the guy that you're talking about is Chuck Wagon, okay. and he does chili and bean soup, and I'm not sure if he does potatoes. Yeah, that's great. All in a, in a big kettle on an open fire. Yeah. He makes that. Um, we do have the log cabins that are up front mm -hmm. that people can walk in and see what it looked like to live in an log yeah. cabin back in the 1800s and stuff. When, the first when Gibsonburg was founded and everything. And you know, I know some people that come here, they always tell me they come here for the flea market. Yes. We, it's so big. We have right now, as of um, I think it was last week, we had 60 committed vendors this year coming in. Um, wide variety. I mean, it can be old stuff. It can be uh -huh. new. You can buy plants. You know, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a gentleman that comes in and he makes things out of wood. Um, I like wheelbarrows and wagons and they're wow. smaller items that you can put flowers in and things wow. like that. So it sounds good. So uh, Nancy, what, what days are we going to be here? Um, this is, this event happens over Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend, okay. We start on Friday. Um, we start taking admission on Friday. The admission is five hours okay. to get in every is day. Is that per person or? Yes, it's per okay. person. Um, unless you're a member. If you are a member, then it's, you get a pass and you get in all, all days for free. Oh. Because um, it's included with your membership. Nice. Um, membership is twenty dollars, and that includes you and one other person to wow. get in. Nice. So you figure Plus the cost. It helps, it helps with the tradition, keeping it going. Right, but if you yeah. figure the cost of, you know, every day coming in versus buying right, membership, right. it's it's actually it's, a, it's smarter. A it's a smarter way to go. Um, but yeah, we like I said, we open up on Friday. We go till Monday. We have a large consignment auction on Monday. It draws a lot of people in yeah. and everything. Um, the biggest thing I think is, you know, the, the food vendors, mm -hmm. you know, people come yeah. for the food. There's a lot um, of great food here. And like you said, we, we do have entertainment in our big town up front. Yeah. Um, it's kind of relaxing. I like, cause you get, you, 
you get over here and you're in the flea market and then you go back and you see the bands and it's kind yes. of relaxing just to chill out and watch just people by right it's um, a good time we have a family that um because of health reasons they, they've not doing the ketchup on grounds but they mm -hmm. do make homemade ketchup themselves wow. so it's, never had yeah it's ketchup. it's totally to try it's that. kind of different it is really huh. different well that well nancy thanks a lot for your time sure it's a pleasure Thank to meet you and we'll see you and hopefully everybody else here on Labor Day weekend yes. in Gibsonburg, Ohio. And with, if you want any director or officer, we'll be wearing yellow shirts. Okay, thanks a lot. Nancy. Thank you. All right, now we're now we're here with Roger. How you doing, Roger? I'm doing fine. Now you've been with Scrap for how long? Well, since dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, That's uh, a long time. <laughs> I uh, I got involved I think in the third year. Wow. And. Uh, this is our 35th year. 30? Yeah, that's a long time. Well, I see you get all these pins. Well, now, do they a, have them like every year? Every year, but it's just, just a few. Just a few of them. Yeah. yeah. I've, got, like you're, I've got them all collected at home. Do you really? Yeah. Now, what, what do you love about scrap? Why, why are you still involved? Well, I'm still involved because <clears throat> I still got dirt in my blood. That's good. It's and, in your DNA, huh? Yeah, and uh, the fact that, um, oh, the camaraderie, the friendship. I could see that. We uh, all have our different kind of tractors. I've, me, uh, my son and I, we have uh, five uh, old John Deere's. Mm -hmm. And uh, I prefer the John Deere, but I love them all. Yeah, you love to see the other ones. Yeah, and, and, we, yeah. Love, and we love the camaraderie with uh, all the little hints we throw at each other you uh -huh. know, about different tractors. <laughs> I see an oil leak over there. Oh, yeah. That kind of stuff. <laughs> hey, what's that, what's that yeah. leaking over there? Uh, yeah, well, that, that's fine. I, I only wish that we still had horses yeah. involved in it, but we don't have uh, membership with horses. Yeah, so it's people, kind of the technology. People don't have horses yeah, anymore. Not technology. Work, not work horses. Work horses, correct. Yeah. And uh, we used to have a real nice uh, show with the horses because they'd plow and disc and yes. do all kinds of I things out that. here. And I really miss that. But another side of it is the uh, uh, gas engines. Mm -hmm. I tell you, the um, years ago, you know, that was a big part of farming, and the fact that um, they had that uh, horsepower out in the middle of nowhere, where you right. just run it. Yeah, you could just run. Right, and um, we have a, a lot of people come here with uh, with. Gas, en gas engines, mm -hmm. and and they're willing to talk to anybody about them. And, yeah, it's... and uh, if you spend a little time with them, you find out a little bit more all the time. Yeah, um, it's kind of like the car when you go to a car show, old car show. Every little thing has a story. Same thing about the tractors, I'm sure. Huh? That's absolutely right. Yeah, and then you start learning about the person behind the wheel, and, and especially if you can grab a hold of a, uh, a tractor that was in your family. Yes. And uh, develop that tractor uh -huh. and uh, make it, it, well, you could leave it the way it is. I have one John Deere that uh, we can, uh, it, it's not restored. It's a straight right out of the, right out of the field tractor. Is it? And uh, all the grease, grease and dirt <laughs> and oil is still on. You just left it on there. <laughs> it left it on there. Now, so what are you, are you bringing one of those tractors to the scrap? I'll be bringing a couple of them. A couple of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think that's great that you got your sons involved. Well, now yeah. is this something that you think their kids will be involved? Oh, definitely. In? Oh, they're already involved. Oh, yeah. That's great. And uh, we have uh, my wife and I. We have seven children, but uh -huh. uh, there's only well, one of them is uh, in in agriculture in a way. He's lives down near Mansfield, Ohio, and he uh -huh. has a business uh, uh, taking care of making uh, flowers and things like that. Right. So he's and, a little uh, bit into it. Yep. Yeah. And he's, he's like he said, Dad, I'll never, I can't afford to be a farmer. It costs too much money, but he said, I can get my hands in the dirt this way. And, yeah, and absolutely right. You do. Exactly. And I, kids all over the country. But anyway, that's. Uh, now, that, you, is some of your your old buddies that you see like yearly. Oh, my golly, yes. Some of them guys you only and see went here. to school with. They all come back. Oh, yeah. Went so it's probably a good old time, like a reunion. It's a reunion. Yeah. yeah. And we have uh, you never run out of things to say and talk exactly. about. It's like you just, you never left each other. No, you got that's all right. And, stories. And you, you know about their families. Yeah. How's, the, how's she doing? Yeah. How are they doing? Yeah. And, I can uh, see that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a close-knit group. And uh, we, 
we are a fun group. Yeah. A thing I'd like to mention also as we get into the thrashing, mm -hmm. and uh, the Reed family kind of takes care of that. We have a thrashing now, machine. Now, explain the thrashing to, to All a right. city folk that's, like me. <laughs> that's a machine that is powered by a tractor okay. with a belt, and it actually separates the grain from the straw. Oh. And also, it's the same way with the corn. It separates the corn or shell, it shells the corn, and separates it from the fodder. Now, um, those are both run that way uh, with power from your tractor. And then we have a, a portable baler hmm. that uh, sets and bales straw right there on the spot. And we put the, uh, the corn uh, in with the straw. Mm -hmm. And then we bale that all up and, uh, and somebody buys that. Wow. And, that uh, sounds interesting. <laughs> but, so is that going to be on display? Oh, that'll be on display, definitely. Oh, I'm going to see that. And uh, you'll enjoy that. But uh, also, we have a we have a fellow in our group that is a rope maker. A rope maker. Mm -hmm. And Kenny, <laughs> um, he makes a lot of <laughs> he makes the yards and yards of rope. Wow. And and kids can do it. He, oh, and they show them. Yeah, he shows them how to do it, and they wrap it up. You know, wow, and make that it work. Neat. And then they put different colored uh, twine in it. Okay. And of course, that makes nice uh, show rope and right. things like that for the cows. And yeah, probably like for the fair. Like at the fair, you can show for your animals. Wow, that's impressive. And uh, <clears throat> that's just a kind of a short little format of what we do right. here. That sounds, that sounds great. But we even have a rock crusher. You have a rock crusher. Yeah, we have a fellow. <laughs> for, for like in the farm, if there's well, a rock? They would, yeah, they would throw rocks in them and crush it down, break it down, and then they could use it in their driveways oh, okay, or anywhere gotcha. else. They like to use it. That's neat. So every, you got everything here. We, we have it all. We you got all. some of the past, some of the memories of the old days, as they say, and then some of the technology of the of present day. We have uh, tractor games. Tractor games. Tractor games, yeah. No, uh, I'm not on that committee. I don't. Wait, what's tractor games? All, well, that's a little sporty like a fence that we have here. And they, you know, maybe chase a barrel with your front wheel or something oh, like that. A little fun time. Yeah, it's it's a fun time. And, and then we give out uh, little trophies for that. Wow. That sounds and, like a great and, time. Yeah, it's a great time. Uh, yeah. So this is that. This, what else you got? And then we, I mean, we'll have over 500 tractors. 500 tracks. And this year is Alice Chalmers. Oh, okay. I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. And that was, how long have they, they been along, around longer oh, a long than time. John Oh, yeah. They've been they've around, around a long, long time. time. But uh, the thing is that uh, Alice Chalmers, they'll, uh, there, there's a club in Ohio that's a really a great club, and they'll be celebrating their uh, meetings with us this year and their show. Oh, so okay. we'll, we'll have Alice Chalmers from all over. All over. Wow, that's neat. All over the nation. I wow. we'll have, have to check them out, man. Yeah. You know what, Roger? It's been a pleasure talking to you, man. It's only good talking with you. So, yeah, come on out and see Roger and the guys. Come and see us. Yeah, it's Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. Crap. Thanks, Roger. We, we have a lot to eat, too. A lot to eat, too. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> Thank you.